Hello and welcome to the COVID-19 Psychology Lab. Come on in. I would like to introduce you to the human brain. This is the human brain capable of storing every memory you've experienced, every thought, every emotion, capable of complex thought, of helping Olympians win medals. Your amazing human brain. And sometimes it goes wrong. The human brain is made up of two hemispheres and four lobes. The right hemisphere operates the left hand part of the body, whilst the left hemisphere operates the right hand side of the body. The brain works contralaterally. The brain in all its fabulousness, the most complicated computer we know, weighs approximately three pounds. And transmission from one hemisphere to the other, from one lobe to the other, requires a complex interaction of chemical messages and neurotransmitters that are sent along the 86 billion neurons that make up our fabulous brain. At the front of the brain, we have our eyes, but our vision is not handled at the front of our brain. Our vision is handled in our occipital lobe at the back. At the front of our brain is where we have those complicated decisions. If I do this, what will happen? Mathematical analysis, concepts like that all happen in the prefrontal cortex in the front of the brain, which still carries on developing until you're about 25, which is why teenagers often make silly mistakes. In the temporal lobes around the side, we have two of these. We have the place where your memories are stored, the hippocampus. The hippocampus where your memories are stored. Just in front of the hippocampus, we have the amygdala, responsible for processing fear, hunger. And maybe this doesn't work in psychopaths. But what happens if parts of the brain get broken or don't work quite so well? If you have a lesion towards the back of your frontal lobe, you may not be able to speak. The human brain. Your fabulous human brain. If you're interested in knowing more about the human brain and learning about psychology, I look forward to taking you on your psychological journey in September at St. Joseph's. And if you can't wait until then, there is a free, yes, free five hour psychology course that you can access. Google, starting with psychology, the open university. Starting with psychology, the open university. And I look forward to teaching you psychology in September. Take care.